one of the major secrets to the success that I have experienced in life can be found in the mentors that I was blessed to have. Since my formative years, as a young guy, as a, even as a teenager, and today, you get to meet one of them. This is the JAB Show. Uh, we're partnering with you to unleash your life, your business, and your career. And I'm Joe Abbas Bangua. Stay with us. Just to remind you that the JAB Show is coming to you by courtesy of Life by Design and Partners. Afrisel, RC Bank, AYV Media Empire, Chicken Town, Sweet You Life, Sweet You Mort, Inky Media, and the channel to which you are listening to this or watching this show on. Wondering how to activate your Afri Money account? It's easy. Dial star 161 star 8 star 3 hash. Enter your default pin or old pin and press send. Enter your new pin and press send. Enter your new pin again. You'll receive a message confirming your pin change. Afri Money. Fast. Easy. Safe. In today's show, we're looking at the power of mentorship and the making of the JAB brand. Of course, we all know that JAB Joabas Bangwa is not just a name, it's a brand. And what, what was the journey uh, that brought um, the brand about? Sir Isaac Newton is quoted to have, said, to have said, if I have seen further, it's because I'm standing on the shoulders of giants. And Galileo, this famous scientist, said, you cannot teach a man anything. You can only help them discover what is within themselves and both of these quotes that i've just shared are correct about the guest on my show today is one of my earliest mentors in life his name is antigi koma we call him bossman bossman welcome to the show thank you very much it's good to be here yes i got to meet antigi and his fiance uh, his then fiance around 1985 i was 18 years of age 18 years of age would That's you believe correct. that yes. at the national pentecostal church wellington where santigi was um, social secretary and, and music director for yeah. the for the youth the youth group there he ended up becoming a great mentor um, to me i actually moved into the house where um we stayed where he stayed and became a member of his own family yes. um I interestingly i didn't have to change my surname to koma no. <laughs> <laughs> And, and some of you viewers must have been tired of hearing me share my famous transition story about how after I failed uh, my failed attempts at the O-Levels and my high school exams at the Albert Academy in 1984 and the Israeli Muslim Congress in 1985 and dropping out of school, I was encouraged subsequently to take the exams again in 1989, four years after, uh, after the Albert Academy. The big challenge was meeting the cost of the exam fees which was 1,000 years. And at that point in time, it was quite a lot of money, <laughs> I assure you. And my parents had resigned from uh, all academic expenses <laughs> to focus on providing full shelter clothing. That was their commitment. Anything other than that uh, was luxury. You had to fend for yourself. So I approached Bossman uh, with this need, and he willingly paid my fees. He willingly paid my fees yes. and to, and, um, to retake my O-Levels exams. Yes. And this time, at the Government Independent Secondary School at Kisei. I took and passed this exam. And this opened the door for me to fight back into life to get to where I am today. And like they still normally say, the rest is history. It wasn't a straightforward journey. To help us rehash this story in the making of Joe Abbas, in the eyes of a, an eyewitness to this journey, Santigi Kuruma, AKA Bossman. Let's go back to the beginning. Let's, let's start okay. this from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, reflect, we've done a couple of reflections over this, um, you know, the last couple of days that you've been here, you're in town, yes. uh, visiting us. Now, what made you bring me into your home? Indeed, it was a full house, but um, your zeal was just like extraordinary. And like, <laughs> I can't resist you. You know, you come in with a kind of a motive that I saw in you that I thought, yes, one day, one day, this young man is going to be a successful man. Mm -hmm. So I can't stand that. I said, you know what? I have to bring him in and see what happens. So whatever the case, I said, let me bring him in and see how we go to do things about. 
I, 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 were, I were able to know. Uh, how were you able to know somebody that comes around you just because of waiting and get, but somebody comes around because they want to add value, they want to contribute? Because the way you are reacting to things. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have that spontaneous reaction to things that sometimes I can't even understand how you do it, mm -hmm. but then that motivated me to just like bring you in. Mm -hmm. See, this man is somebody else that you know, I'm seeing, and one day it's going to be somebody. That's a question I've kept for you in the end. It's easy to say, um, after the you know fact that I knew it was going to be somebody. Now, yeah. uh, how did you know really, Bosman? Did you know really at that point in time that there's something unique here, and this young man could turn out to be somebody um, unique in life? Did you know? Is it? Well, you mentioned a short while ago, like the time about this fellowship, mm -hmm. right? So in the church. In the church, exactly. And what normally you do when mm -hmm. we go for practices, you know, you're insistent on certain things. Mm -hmm. I mean, you are just, you keep putting pressure, pressure, pressure. You never let down, you know. That's a type of behavior sometimes. When somebody has it, you will see the success in that person's mm -hmm. life in mm -hmm. the future. Mm -hmm. So your insistence, you know, in doing certain things, sometimes, yeah, it's a motivation. And so it's interesting for them to know it's not just something that started today, but this is something that's always there. I'm restless. Yes. I'm restless. Yes. Always want to develop, always right. want to move on, right. always want to progress things. Right. And I think one thing you mentioned that I think I want to be able to share in building mentorship, um, it's been said that a lot of the time people just want what you've earned. Yes. They want what is in your pocket. Mm -hmm. That's not mentorship. That's been parasitic. You're a parasite. Right. But the real mentees, they want what is in your head. They want what you know. Mm -hmm. and, and when they come, they bring value mm -hmm. and exchange mm -hmm. to say, okay, how can I add value here so that I can get value in return? And I think that's one of the points you've just mentioned. Mm -hmm. You said you saw. But let's, let's go back. You saw all the good and the bad and the ugly in me. <laughs> you saw the good and the bad and you were able to the good the bad and the ugly you were, you were able to manage all three right. now let's review some of these compartments mm -hmm. let's start with the good um gospel music let's talk about the choir okay <laughs> tell me what you remember about steps to christ you singers i was in charge of the group i was the leader mm -hmm. but you always overshadow me <laughs> 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 So points where I say, you know what, let me just let it go. Right. So then I'll just sit back and enjoy you doing your thing, you know. And like, you know, if you remember those days though, the singers, they were not very happy about that for some of them, mm -hmm. you know, because they don't want me to leave. And you're like one of them, now you're coming out the front and are trying to dictate things. Dictate to them, to, yes, the yes, music yes. and exactly. training them to yeah, do the exactly. music yeah. and, and, and the stage, yeah. synchronized stage movement. Exactly. Yeah. Getting them to smile. Correct. So like you're trying to impose yourself, you know, to do these things, you know, so that they can do it the right way, the way it's supposed to be done. You know, and I would just sit back there and just watch, you know, the movie. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's a movie. It was a movie. You're watching the movie. <laughs> now, so, movie. So, so the first thing that was noticed, even at those early ages, was there were a lot of skills there. Now, let's talk about the innovation and, and uh, an adventure. Let's talk about innovation. Obviously, the innovation comes with new music and new ideas. Yeah. Every day we could come to practices mm -hmm. and stuff. But let's talk about the um, never shy of taking risks, always coming up with new ideas. What, what could you remember or that? Well, you always come up with certain things like you like i was the leader right but then you come up with suggestions oh boss man how about doing this how about doing that how about doing that you know you come up with suggestions you know i put it in my head for a few seconds then i well i always don't stop you i say okay yeah let's go ahead and do it and i think those are one of the success that we are able to you know achieve innovation you know, persistence okay yeah. perfectionist mm -hmm. persistence mm -hmm. and relentless right to the extent of being annoying, and I'm quoting oh, no. <laughs> for, it. Yeah. Persistent. That was something else. Perfectionist, <laughs> perfectionist, persistent, right. and relentless to right. the extent of being annoying. Right. Talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> now, the persistence, right? If we will practice into songs, singing, to me, as far as I'm concerned as a leader, everything is fine. It's perfect. On our own side, it's not. It bothers me sometimes. And also, <laughs> even the singers too. It bothers them. You know, like, you know, I'm saying that everything is going right, but then you kind of, no, 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 it's not yet perfect. Because you are the perfectionist. I mean, you, you, think, you have something in here that you are thinking. 
I want it this way. I want it to be done this way. If it's not done this way, then we're not going anywhere. So even if, if the time is going, like, you know, like... Yeah, you know, yeah, it's 9.30. Like, yeah, we 9:30, should be closing exactly. the practice. So that, you know, practice. people will be, you know, be like, they want to go behind. home. No, that's the time you will start. <laughs> <laughs> that's the time you will start. You know, like, nothing has been, been done. You know, oh, those things. And this is, that's, that's bringing the annoyance in. So, like, the other members, you know, they'll become annoyed, you know, things like that. And say, but that's answers, but that's answers. Look what is going on there. I say, Can we just do what she's telling you to do? Now yeah, it's it's a tough one. If if we could just move back again, because there's 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 this sort of stuff about um, synchronized movement. I've talked right. about synchronized movement right. in the stage. Mm -hmm. Smile when you're singing. Exactly. Yes. And mm -hmm. and those were all stuff because as a communicator, it has, even at that age, I discovered there's no way you could talk about being happy, and your face does not show you're happy. Mm -hmm. And there's no way you could be on the stage right. and you say you are choir, you are group, mm -hmm. and not have synchronized movement. Right. Right. Synchronized actions. Right. If we're shouting, can we all just demonstrate that right. we're shouting right. and we're happy and, and, and all of those things would go like that. So that's part of what you say mm -hmm. um, is perfection. Is, and of course, the positive bit of all of those things mm -hmm. was that Steps to Christ became a very outstanding group. Yes. Even though we were a long ways away from Fort Street yes. and Congo Cross yes. and and the church at Fuobe, but we will still punch above our weight yes. uh, because, of, because of those things. Now, mm -hmm. you, you also, and I think Yebu, your, your wife, um, fiance then, Yebu is going, to be, is going to be share a bit of her thoughts here, said, she actually said, there was ambition there. And they always see, saw that I was ambitious and focused. Mm -hmm. Talk about ambitious. My ambitiousness and my ambition at those very early age and being focused. Well, like, um you see, when you engage somebody, you make sure the person remains focused. And like, if you engage somebody, mm -hmm. that the person will concentrate on you. Mm -hmm. In other words, if you want to say something, right, you want the person to listen to you and actually put into action what mm -hmm. you're trying to tell the person. Mm -hmm. And that's what that mission, because you're pushing it. It's, it's, it's like my fancy then, right? Mm -hmm. Yebo, she's quiet. She's not, but then you come in and just like, you know, there's a way you do it, mm -hmm. very jovial, you know, just mm -hmm. like, you know, so like, you know, not pushing, mm -hmm. you're, no, you're not pushing, just like, you know, you tie somebody into the phone so that somebody can be into your game, you know, mm -hmm. things like that. Mm -hmm. What are the things that you think went into making Joe Abbas, the Joe Abbas you knew when I was 18 years of age, 19, 20 years of age, but what are the things that, you, that went into this journey and this relationship that got you to help me? And, and brought me into your family, um, just like one of yours. Let's, let's talk about the laundry, and the laundry and the cleaning of, of the house. Yeah, I was going to mention that. Well, okay. those are things that we are doing that I was not even expecting you to do that, you know. But I mean, it's just out of an instinct. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, you're in, in somebody's house, and this person is helping you. It just like started doing those things. And they, it was amazing. I, I was not even thinking about it. It was overwhelming. I said, oh, why is he doing that? You know? But you know that time. You know very well that I have so many people that can yeah, do that. Yeah, there were a lot of other people yes, that can so do that. so many of them that can, you know, come in and do, you know, do all those things, the laundry, you know, things like the cleaning of the house. But you just can't sit back. You know, you always want to go ahead and do it. You know, you're ahead of your game. You know, make sure that things are in order. Maybe so, time to please the boss man. <laughs> time to please the boss man. But, but look at, so what was happening was that, remember, I, I, could just, I was just called into this house. There are all the members of the family. Right. And, and, and who knows, at some point in time, they will look at you, okay, this boy, and I enjoy no more, he's come for kind of I come out. Um, mm -hmm. He's not even one of us. And um, now because he's sweet, now sugar and mm -hmm. then now sugar And so you ne never know what goes into people's minds. Right. So to be there in packaging myself to be able to make sure I could give value back in return right. is to say, okay, I, I, I took care of your, your clothing. Right. And, and I owned, you know, did the laundry. That's I right. owned all of them. That's and correct. every weekend, making right. sure those who are there. And you had the motorbike. Yes. Suzuki motorbike. <laughs> yes. NB2195. Uh, you still remember that? <laughs> <laughs> Even Cobra, when Cobra came, uh, Cobra was NB2195. Yes. 956. Yes. Because nine, five, it, it was five yes. digits at that That's point. That's correct. Yes. I could still remember all okay, of those. Yeah, yeah. And, and cleaning the house. It mm. was cement tiles. Mm -hmm. Cleaning and scrubbing from the back veranda yeah. to the front, including mm -hmm. the toilet and everything, mm -hmm. was things I did diligently. Yeah. And, and you recalled some of those things mm -hmm. in terms of what went into making this guy um, yes. sitting before you here today. Mm -hmm. That's been a phenomenon to the nation. Yes. Um, and <laughs> in case you've just joined us, this is the JLB show, and my guest today is one of my earliest mentors, Santigi Koma. Uh, we have talked about the good um, when we come back. We will talk about 
the, the, the bad and the ugly, <laughs> in the power of mentorship and the making of the JAB brand. Stay with us. More and more people are using Rokel SIM Copper Plus in their everyday lives. Did you hear that? She just transferred money for her daughter's school fees. And this man just paid for some products. Ah, Mr. Abu, are you oh, sending oh, money to yes, your wife yes, again? Yes, like, yes, uh, Rokel SIM Copper. Ah. Yes, like having money in my pocket. Ah, excellent. Thank you. He just bought some eggs. The world is digital, so keep up with the times. Have you got a payment to make? If so, just download Rokel SIM Copper Plus now. You can download the Rokel SIM Copper Plus app from Apple iStore and iPad or Google Play Store for Android users. You see, it's fast, safe and reliable. Welcome back. In today's show, we're looking at the power of mentorship and the making of the JAB brand. And my guest today is one of my earliest mentors. It's a great privilege to have you on the show, um, Santi Koma. I call you boss man. Okay. But now let's talk, about, let's talk about what was most frustrating about oh Stovia. <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about that. What was frustrating about this young oh, man? Oh my goodness. You guess now. Fuck. <laughs> guess now. <laughs> guess now. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes <laughs> Gatinan can be negative. Well, of course, it can be negative, and also there's a good part of it too, you know. But um, yeah, but you remember one time you took that motorbike, yeah, and we were in church, you know, practicing. As of nowhere, I just like escaped, you know. You took the motorcycle, and those are certain. Those are one of the things too that you know strikes me, you know, about you. You are trying to do an invention. You are trying to explore something. Let me just try this. Let me see what happens. You know, is it going to work? Or maybe it's not going to work. And that was a bad thing there that you it did. It was a bad, it was yeah, a bad yeah. thing. And you went out, you know what happened? You want me to tell? No, I, I had an, actually had an accident. Yeah. So this, this, is, this is part of the you know, troubling side of my childhood yeah. as a boy. Took this motorbike. And I said, I just do some two rounds at the Wellington Field. And right. I said, and I liked it. I enjoyed right. it. That right. was my first time. I mean, you know, no formal training in riding a bike. Right. But because I could move around the field, I said, ah, it's nice. So right. can I, maybe I could just <laughs> go up to the junction. <laughs> and I went moving. up to the junction. Right. And then let me go to Natco. Mm -hmm. um, you know, drive to Natco, Brewery, Sierra Leone Brewery. By the time I get to SLPM, I said, I think I can go for that. <laughs> and that's how I kept pushing and pushing and extending until I, I, I got an accident. Right. I went and just fell down with a bike. And struggle. I still actually have, I still actually have, a, you know, um, those um, scars that are here. There's yeah. a scar here. Mm -hmm. There's a scar here. Mm -hmm. And there's some on my back. Mm -hmm. And um, and you know, broke the clutch actually. Yeah. And I had to now be pushing it. So that was a bad one. That was frustrating. That was a bad one. Yes, <laughs> that was a bad one. And I was I, not supposed to do that. Uh, no way. No. Yeah. You were not supposed to do that. But. And you didn't get me to pay. You didn't. You didn't ask me to pay to fix the bike. Well, that's what. And I that was the only say. bike you had. The, yeah, that was the only one I had. Yes. It's not like you, you had know. another car or no. something. No. Right. That was the only right. mobility you right. had. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, I mean, with all that that you did, right? There was no way that I can just become angry at you. I mean, I just look at you. I mean, with this guy, you know, I don't know why he did it, but I'm cool. That's fine. You know. So that like, I don't express any <laughs> anger, you know, things like that. Managing the say. good in the bad and exactly. the This guy is a very talented guy, but Thank this you, guy yes. gets now, and right. he has all of those yes. things, this baggage. Mm -hmm. And there were times when ego would step in, you know, when it comes to the, the group, mm -hmm. the choir again, that these are things I still remember, where in the choice of songs, in the choice of uniforms that they would use mm -hmm. um, for, you know, and there are sometimes, mm -hmm. it's what I just said, what I want to happen, mm -hmm. ego would step in. Yeah. That, was, that was another negative. And that's what the conflict between you and them. Yes. You always want what you say to be done. You know, like they can come up with their own suggestions. You know, you have talented people like Mir the Miracle Romance. Miracle Romance. There are lots of seniors, you know, right. tall people there. Yeah. They could you sing know. very well exactly. and stuff. You know, and they come up with their own suggestions, then you just like, you know, snub <laughs> them, you know, and like that. And that, yeah, that's what's. You and know, and <laughs> let me apologize to all of you guys. Let me apologize to all of you guys, wherever you are now. And some of you are all over the world. Make home, I understand you are in Italy. Yes, right. and, um, mm -hmm. and And all of those, there's Dora, there's every one of you. Mm -hmm. I want to apologize. Um, 
that's bad leadership. Um, a leader has to listen to the team. There are times you, even where you know you have a way to go, um, this is the best leader's job. When it's done, the people say, we did it ourselves. Right. So in, in my maturity, I'm learning how do you, even where you know this is, this is, this is what it, and the, the, benef the benefit of leadership, you could see ahead of everybody. Uh -huh. You could see behind the curves. You could see what they don't see. Uh -huh. That's the power of leadership. Right. Now, but your ability to be able to slow down enough, mm -hmm. take them along with you right. enough, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. that show them you're listening to them, right. even if the decision is going to be different, right. but show them you're listening and mm -hmm. show them why it has to be different, right. so that you could take all of them along with you. That's, That's what I didn't know, mm -hmm. which I know now, so mm -hmm. apologies to all <laughs> of you. Another close eyewitness that we had um, to this is um, um, in the Santigi Stovia journey, it's, um, it's your wife, Yebo. Mm -hmm. He was then your fiance. And, um, and I took time to talk to Yebu, uh, also to just hear our reflections mm -hmm. on your decision to open um, your house to me and mm -hmm. uh, be there. Like I said, a helpless young man. And, um, and so this is what Yebu had to say in a, in, a, in a conversation we had. If we are standing, um, if we are here today and we've seen further today, it's because we've stood on your shoulder. Um, of giants, the shoulders of giants like you. Thank you so Thank much, you so much Yebu. Um, um, your children, your children, children would be blessed. In Santigi, for, for this investment that you made, that you made in, my life, in my life and the life of my wife, wife Ellen. Ellen. As kids, As kids in school, in school she, was, she, was she was actually 18. 18. She was actually 18. She was actually maybe 18, 18 when we met. And she was actually 18, I was 20 when we met. And, and <laughs> she, was she was actually 18, 18 and I was 20, 20 when we met together. And you played, and you played that, that role. role. Um, you, gave you gave us um, a, room a room in your house, in your house where she would visit. And we actually, and we actually had, had our first daughter, daughter from, 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 you know, from um, the confines of your house. house. But, so but so thank you very much um, to you and Santos um, for this. God will, God will bless your children's children. And then. Sometimes, Sometimes the fulfillment you get in life is the impact, is the impact that, you have that you have on other people's lives. lives. So that you, so that you could look at me and see me and say, me and say yes, yes. Um, we, um, we were part of this journey and, and, we'll and we'll be forever grateful. Thank you. Thank you, Yebu. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you. Thank you mm. um, it's, it, it, it's a pleasure, you know. For me, I'm, I'm so proud, you know, to see you guys together. And, you know, as young couple, not knowing what the future holds, and, you know, and you are now together for this long, because we have seen couples who are married, and within six months they are divorced. But to see you guys together and doing well, for me, it is a joy. You don't even have to thank me because it, it all happened you know, we, we just obey God because God uses everyone to, you know, every man to bless whoever. And I, we are just grateful that we were willing and we are there for you guys and seeing that our labor didn't go in vain and you guys are really, you know, showing it out and blessing others through your own testimony. So we are grateful to God be the glory. Thank you, thank, you much, thank, thank, you, thank you very much, Thank you, Santigi. Thank you very much. Um, thank you very much. Thank you. I think I should have had my wife, Ellen, here, but Ellen is not here. Yebu is not here. Yebu came in on, on, the, on, the, on that recording there. But um, Bosman and, and Yebu, I'm saying this. I have said it over and over. Um, there's no time I share my story and haven't shared. It's okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. And having okay. shared, mm -hmm. and having shared about the the role you played, mm -hmm. not just in the one thousand years, but having me in a house, there mm -hmm. a lot of stability brought into me at that age. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. That was so important for me, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that formed the foundation of what we had become. Right. Mm -hmm. So on behalf of my wife, like I said, it was in this kitchen room. It, it would only take the bed 
Yeah. That's where we stayed. Yeah. And that's where I got my first daughter, Josetta. Yeah. Josetta. Mm -hmm. You gave us the money to have the naming ceremony for her. That's correct, yes. Mm -hmm. You gave us the money. Mm -hmm. There was nothing mm -hmm. you could do that you did not do mm -hmm. to help yeah. make this young woman. Yes. Helpless young man, mm -hmm. on behalf of my wife. I want to say thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you so much. On behalf of Ellen, uh -huh. I cannot thank you and Yobu enough for being there for us. We were so young, helpless, without yeah. direction. Uh -huh. God alone would bless you Amen. and bless your children's children Amen. Amen. for what you've done in this life. Mm -hmm. We're super grateful. Mm -hmm. And to paraphrase what Isaac Newton said, if I have seen Father today, it's because I stood on the shoulders of giants like you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. And Ellen and myself and the rest of my family were so grateful yeah. for what you did for us. Thank You're you. Welcome. No problem. You're welcome. Stay with us, don't go away. <laughs> I'm just like that and always just shedding tears, but this is a pivotal moment of my life to be able to reflect and go back to this. There's something I know you've been inspired and touched. You have to be able to help somebody, please help, just help them and so forth. You never know what they're right. going to become. Mm -hmm. and, um, and for those of you who are thinking you want a mentor, there's something you need to do to be able to attract people um, to support and help you. Don't go away and um, we'll come back. Welcome back. Don't forget that the JB Show is powered by Life by Design and um, for marketing and communications when results matter. Whether your need is to design and deliver messaging and campaigns to drive social change and empower communities or to grow your outstanding customer base, drive sales in the face of stiff competition, you don't need to look any further. It's Life by Design and we have the results to show. Call us today, 030-600-600 or email info at LBD dot sl info at lbd dot sl at this point in time i'd like to give a special shout out uh birthday greetings to our dad pa abu bangora the 5th of june 2021 marked your 91 birthday you came to freetown from kasimbara village as a young man with all your worldly belongings contained in a pillowcase but <laughs> god has made a nation out of you Amen. you lacked formal education but brought up nation changers let <laughs> look at what you're doing now <laughs> as your day is social your strength is from your children and your grandchildren your in-laws and the, and the Kasim kasimbara and tonko families and the national pentecostal um, family at this point in time i also like to pause uh, because in the studio here today there's um, there's a quiet guest uh, mm -hmm. uh, not been on camera, but um, he's the reason why my mentor is in town. Um, Lieutenant Colonel Alidan Bangua um, of the United States Air Force. Uh, condolences to your family on the passing on of um, your dear wife, um, somebody who was super dear to us. We were together in the choir, yes. um, <coughs> together in the choir at Wellington, um, F.A. Fatmata. Uh, we call you grandmother. Um, your passing on has left a huge gap in our lives. And, um, and Ali Dan, you're here to um, part of the process of laying her to rest. Um, our heart goes out with you and the family, and may her soul rest in peace. Amen. Well, that's all we have for you on today's show. <laughs> What a ride we've had. Join us on the next edition of the show as we provide you with new tools to unleash your life, your career, and your business. Don't forget to join us online. Uh, the conversation continues there. You go and like our Facebook page. It's at Joe Abbas Bangora. And also you can subscribe to our YouTube channel at the Joe Abbas Show. On behalf of our sponsors and partners, Life by Design, AfriCell, RC Bank, AYV Media Empire, Chicken Town, Switch you mode, switch your life, Inc. Media, and the channel and station to which you're listening or watching the show on. I've been your host, Joe Abbas. Stay blessed.